first I want to dribble in the saline. And you're going to dribble all of it in. That's going to help activate the lubrication on the inside of the urinary catheter. This is especially important if you're doing it in anything 8 French or smaller. We're going to test our balloon. 10 cc's no more on this particular urinary catheter. Lube in it, but this one doesn't. You guys can put some sterile lube over here. Mm. All right, so then I have these both as kind of my sterile field. Um, over here, I also have a urinary catheter bag for collection. Usually, I like to have this out of its, at least the peel package, open, because otherwise you're trying to open it with gooey lube all over your hands. So this area has already been prepped, shaved. Um, I also put in um, some sterile lidocaine jelly. Now, the way I like to do this is I will hold this in my left hand, which is my non-dominant hand. And you want to make sure that your guide wire, especially on the smaller ones, is all the way to the end. You can put your thumb kind of here. You can secure that guide wire as well so that it stays tucked in there. And then I will take it and place it in my hand like this with my finger this way. Next thing I do is I'll lube up the digit and then it's insert first. I like to go up and into the vaginal vault to where I can, and then turn my finger to where I can feel the brim of that pelvis, okay? Then I'm gonna insert my urinary catheter gently under that finger. And I'm going to direct it eventually. Now, when you're in the right spot, you should be able to feel a layer of tissue over top of your urinary catheter. And then you're gonna insert it the rest of the way. And then you're gonna have your person reinflate your balloon. The key is to also make sure, hey, does this feel exactly the same as you inflate the balloon as it did when you tested the balloon? It does. And you're gonna inflate the balloon. I do want you to not do that last half mil. Okay, go okay. all the way in. Um, the only reason for this is I've had a couple of 10 cc balloons that I've put 10 cc's in and they've actually ruptured that for some reason. So when I know I'm doing a 10 cc urinary catheter balloon, um, I tend to go just half a mil shy. Okay. I'm going to pull straight out, pull straight down. I've already got my little adapter connected. And then they're going to open this up sterilely for me. And actually, I have to hang for a second because it's sterile. We use the meal assistance. You can also use that same adapter, sterile sub Q tube, sub Q fluid tubing, and a sterile used IV bag. Okay. 
The last thing I'll do is tape this either to her belly, the inside of her thigh, something to decrease this tension. So a lot of times you can really just even tape it kind of right here. Sometimes I'll also use just kind of that stockinette mesh and just keep it right there on her ventral abdomen just so it's not got a lot of tension on it.